हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी डू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ़ यू हैवन डन इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम चैप्टर फाइव एंड द प्रॉब्लम सीज दैट द ऑपरेशन ऑफ द फ्यूल पंप फॉर एन ऑटोमोबाइल डिपेंड्स ऑन द रिसप्रिकेटिंग एक्शन ऑफ द राकर आर्म ए बी सी सो वी हैव दिस राकर आर्म ए बी सी व्हिच इज पेंड एट बी एंड इज स्प्रिंग लोडेड एट ए एंड डी सो एट डी वी हैव द स्प्रिंग एंड एट ए वी हैव द स्प्रिंग when the smooth came c is in the position shown determine the horizontal and vertical component of force at the pin and the force along the spring df for equilibrium the vertical force acting on the rocker arm at a is 60 newton so here we have 60 newton force and at c we have 125 newton force so i have we are going to consider this abc rocker arm as a free body diagram and we will consider all the forces that are applied on this rocker arm so at a we have that fa force which is given that is 60 newton and it is acting in the a vertical direction so we have that fa given in the problem statement that this is equal to 60 newton and at c we have a vertical force fc and that fc is equal to 125 newtons and at b uh, this rocker arm is pinned so at b we will have two support reactions so we will have bx and we will have by and at d the spring force is will be acting in this direction so this is that spring force that is required let me write that this is f d f so now we have to find this bx by and this f d f so now if, if for the position shown the rocker arm is in equilibrium so if it is in equilibrium we can apply the summation of moment the summation of moment about point b that must be equals to 0 the counter clockwise moment is always considered to be positive in my videos now is we can see that this uh, fdf this is also making 30 degrees in the problem statement it is given that this is making 30 degrees with the vertical so let me show that angle as well so if if we draw a vertical line here so this fdf is making 30 degree angle with the vertical so we can resolve the spring force into two components we will have one component like this this will be f df cos of 30 since the angle is made with this particular component and we will have another component which will be the sine component so this component is the sine component so this is f df sin of 30 degrees so now if we apply the summation of moment about point b that must be equals to 0 and as we can see that this fdf sin of 30 this sin component is passing through this point b so it's not going to produce the moment about that point b since the moment arm of this sin component is 0 so this cos component of the spring force is producing the moment about that point b and it is producing the clockwise moment so we will write minus f d f cos of 30 and the moment arm of this cos component from that point b is this distance the distance between the horizontal distance between b and d which is given as 10 mm so i will multiply this with 10 mm similarly uh, this f a is producing the clockwise moment about that point b so again we will write minus f a magnitude is 60 and the moment arm of this f a from that point b is this a b distance the horizontal distance between a and b is 50 mm so we will multiply this with 50 and similarly this f c is producing the counter clockwise moment so we will write plus and f c is 125 and the moment arm of this fc from that point b is the distance between point b and c in the horizontal direction so the distance between point b and c in the horizontal direction is 30 20 plus 10 so this is multiplied by 30 and this is equal to 0 so now from this we can say that minus fdf 
cos of 30 into 10, this will be equal to 60 into 50 plus, uh, this will become minus 125 into 30. And if we divide both sides of equation by minus cos of 30 into 10, so we will get the magnitude of that spring force. So this is minus cos of 30 into 10. So we will get FDF. So this is FDF. So let's find this using calculator. This is uh, 60 into 50 minus 125 into 30 divided by minus cos of 30 into 10. So this gives us 86 point this FDF, the spring force is 86.60 newtons. Now, some of you will ask that why we are using the units in mm. So it doesn't matter since uh, the units of this, this is, this is 10 mm. So 10 cos of 30, this has a units of mm. And this 60 is in new, uh, this 60 is in newtons, and this 125 is in newtons. So newton into mm, newton into mm. So this numerator will have the units of newton mm, and the denominator has the units of mm. So mm will cancel out with mm. So ultimately, we will have the units of this spring force in newtons. So if we people convert all these units into meters, and then find the moment about point B you people will get the same answer for the spring force. So the spring force at point D has a magnitude of 86.60 newtons. Now the next step is that we need to find Bx and By. So to find Bx and By, again the rocker arm in this particular position is in equilibrium. So we can apply the summation of forces along X that must be equals to zero towards the right is our positive X direction. So now as we can see that this Bx is acting in the positive x, so I will write plus Bx and this sign component of the spring force is acting in the positive x, so I will write plus and the FDF magnitude is now known, so we can say that 86.60 sine of 30, this is equal to 0, so from this we can say that Bx is equal to minus 86.60 sine of 30 and this will give us bx magnitude this is equal to 86.60 sine of 30 this will give us minus 43.3 newtons so the minus sign tells us that bx the assumed direction of bx is not accurate bx is actually acting in the opposite direction so from this we can say that bx magnitude is 43.3 bx magnitude is 43.3 newtons and it is acting towards the left similarly to find by we need to apply the summation of forces along y that must be equal to zero this is our positive y direction so now we have this by this is acting in the positive y direction so i will write plus by <coughs> then if a is acting in the positive y so we will write plus 60 then we have this cos component of FDF. This is acting in the negative y direction. So I will write minus FDF cos of 30. So FDF is 86.60 cos of 30 degrees. And then we have this FC acting in the positive y direction. So this is plus 125 and this is equal to 0. So now from this we can say that BY is equal to minus 60 plus 86.60 cos of 30 minus 125 so by is minus 60 plus 86.60 cos of 30 and then minus 125 so this gives us by equals to minus 110 approximately 110.0 newton so now again we get the negative sign with by magnitude so this means that the the initial assumed direction of by is not accurate by is actually acting in the downward direction so now we can write that by by magnitude is 110.0 newton 
and it is actually acting in the uh, in the downward direction we have assumed initially that by is acting in the upward direction but is actually acting in the downward direction so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope it will help you in your learning do subscribe my channel for the solution of such more problems from hibler statics